Hey everyone, this is Nick and I'd like to welcome you back to another video in our Data Warehouse collection. Today, we'll go over how to use a few different features of the Cloudera Data Warehouse to do some data exploration and then create insightful dashboards to share our results with a wider audience. Throughout this video, we're going to be taking a look at a generated data set for a mock company that stores daily data from five manufacturing plants as well as maintains a human resources database that contains employee data across the whole company. We'll dig more into the data further on, but to start, we're gonna create an Impala virtual warehouse into which we're gonna load all our company data. This virtual warehouse represents just the virtual compute resources to access data that's stored in a database catalog. This lets you create or destroy resources, auto scale, or separate resources across different workloads, all without affecting the underlying data. Cloudera Data Warehouse lets you choose from a set of default resources based on your predicted workload, as well as giving you fine-grained control over the auto-scaling and timeout features so that you can fine-tune your system to be most cost-effective. In this case, we'll also be including an optional data visualization tool that will let us create dashboards to display interesting insights into our data. Once our virtual warehouse is spooled up, we'll go into Hue, which is the GUI that allows you to easily write and develop queries against the data once it exists. Going into Hue, you'll see that all we have is a default database that's empty. To change that, we'll need to create some databases and load in all of our raw data. For this, we're going to use Spark within Cloudera Data Engineering. We cover data engineering more in depth in other videos, so if you want to learn more, go check those out. In this example, we've written a PySpark job that creates two databases named Factory and HR. Factory will house daily logs that cover machine throughput and efficiency, as well as ambient weather conditions for the factory. The HR database tracks daily logs for employees as far as hours work, sick time, and vacation time. We'll upload our Spark job to the data engineering cluster and let it handle the rest. Once the job completes, we can see some statistics on the run and confirm that all the data has made it into our Impala virtual warehouse. Moving back into Hue, we have a nice web-based development environment where we can start writing queries to learn something from this data. For some motivation, upper management has recently been complaining about a downturn in revenue this fiscal year. They've tasked us to look into the data and see if there could be any potential insights as to why there may be a slowdown in revenue. First, we're going to run some queries against the factory data to see if there's any outliers or interesting things there. To do this, we've created some aggregate queries that show us the average number of products that each machine at each factory is producing. If we group this per factory, we can immediately see that factory number 2 seems to have a markedly lower number of products being produced. One of the nice features of Hue is that we can also look at the results of this query in graphical form. This is handy for very quick and easy data visualization that wouldn't stand out quite as much in tabular form. So now that we've narrowed down the potential issue to a specific factory, the next question becomes, why is that factory falling behind? Now we'll write a quick query to check uptime per machine at factory number two. Seeing as they're roughly the same, we can assume that it's a factory-wide issue instead of a specific machine within that factory failing. Here's where we can leverage having many different data sources within the same data warehouse. Since we also have the HR data in here, we can easily tie it into our analysis and see if there's a correlation between the employee data and the factory data. To get a feel for how the employees are doing within our company, we'll next run a query that tells us the average amount of hours that each employee works at each of the factories. Lo and behold, factory number two seems to have the lowest average hours worked. So now we ask ourselves, could there be some potential driver for factory number two having lower employee working hours? Since we've got the HR data here, let's see how often employees may be taking vacation or sick time. Wow, it seems that factory number two employees take significantly more sick time and less vacation time. Feeling like we have something worthy of sharing with others. Now we'll use the DataViz tool built right into our virtual warehouse to create concise and visually appealing dashboards to walk someone through our results from a higher level point of view. Now we can take this dashboard and not only summarize our findings, but since the dashboard is tied directly into our data warehouse, it'll automatically update with any updates or changes to the underlying data. Thanks for watching today. If you found this interesting, don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. 
If you have any questions, head on over to the Cloudera community, where there are plenty of other users ready to help answer any questions you may have.